last two years of high school. In the year I'm supposed to graduate, it's gonna determine how my whole life's gonna be if I go to college or if I'm making minimum wage. Futures hinge on college acceptance. If I don't get accepted to any of the colleges I wanna get accepted into, I have no idea what I'm gonna do. There is nothing more exciting than being the very first person in your family to go to college, but it's a long and difficult journey for many, and that is exactly why this award-winning documentary, First Generation, focuses on that issue. Good morning. This is Adam Fenderson. He is the film's director and one of the stars that you just saw there, Cecilia Lopez. Good morning to you both. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks this, for having us. We're so happy you're here. This film is amazing. I don't know of any other documentaries that go this in depth in the lives of these kids who are struggling to change their their path. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank so you. So why make it? Why this topic? Uh, I guess the, the story actually starts with my wife, really. She, uh, my wife and I did it together, and she came up with the idea um, after working in college admissions, and uh, I was, we were actually dating at the time, and so <laughs> she came to the idea the idea with me because I had gone to film school and she was like, you want to hey, make a you. movie? Yeah. She was like, hey, and I was trying to... I know to, a guy. Exactly. Uh, I was trying to impress her because um, I wanted to marry her. And so I was like, yeah, let's make a movie for sure. Let's do man. it. Let's do it. So we made a movie um, and then we got married. We had a baby and so everything's good. But we... Um, we actually... She came up with this idea because she worked in higher education and she saw basically the divide between the haves and the have-nots when it came to college applications and the differences that she saw in them. And so she really wanted to focus a story around the have-nots, the low-income students that are struggling to be first in their families to go to college. It's just an incredible story. And you did focus on four students, all from California, but different high schools. And Cecilia, you were one of them, one of the stars of the film. As you're watching it, because you're in college now, yay, of course you are. As you're watching this documentary, and you're watching your life unfold, what was that like, first of all? Was that surreal? And did you see changes in yourself those last three years of high school? Yes, I saw so many changes. Um, I did so many things that I, I wish I could have done better. Like, like I what? look back now, um, like filling out our financial aid. Like, um, I wish I would have known more, like the process. Um, like, um, wish I would have applied to different schools. Um, but I want everyone to know that, like students, especially that um, help is there, um, financial aid. You just need to like. Yeah, and you know, hopefully by watching this, you will help other students to know what to do, the right things to do. Now you're a track star, you're an athlete in high school. Did you use that to? You know, in, to get into college, did you use that golden ticket, or did you just, you know, go with the academics? Um, I was very fortunate to get a scholarship for college, and um, but other students that aren't very fortunate, like they have to go through financial aid, and I think like um, fi money is a ver like a huge reason why not to go to college. But they need to know that help is there. You can get money. You all you need to do is your motivation motivation to go to college. And you have to know where to go mm -hmm. to get that help. You also have Blair Underwood, yeah. a huge Hollywood name that is the narrator of this movie. How did you make that happen? That was um, that was really a, a, an amazing thing. We we had. We came up with a, a list of people that we wanted, and we had some some top top names. And Blair was like number three in our list. And we went to his agent, and we told him a little bit about what we wanted to do. And the agent got really excited about it. And we didn't have any connections, and we got very very lucky to have him come out. And working with him was such an honor. And he was so cool. And we just like hung out and chatted up about his his daughters and them going to school and everything. So it was it was great work. Sometimes it's just meant to be. You yeah. Know? So, so you had four students all together again. Cecilia, you were one of them. You're in college right now. How are the other three the doing other, that were in the documentary? Well, first of all, come see the movie. you got to see yeah, it. We're gonna, well, we're, I'm going to tease that in a minute because it's showing here in San Antonio, and we're going to tell you where you can go see it t today. Yeah, so but we don't want to give too much get, away. You'll get the answers there. But, we, but definitely all four of the students are doing great. Um, they're all in higher education. They all graduated high school, and they all went to, to pursue their, their dreams. Yeah. I, I can see what makes Cecilia so special. I can see why you chose her. But how did you narrow it down? Because you, there must have been so many kids. How did you pick these four in particular to focus on? Well, we went to all different high schools all over California. We stayed in California because we were funding this completely on our own. And so we went, met with a lot of high schools 
had the counselors pull out students. We met with students for 15 minutes, made sure that they'd be comfortable on camera, made sure that they had a good story. We wanted a diverse cast. So I guess narrowing it down came really down to you know, how we could uh, g physically get to them easily. Um, we wanted, like I said, a diverse cast, and then people that were comfortable and, and looked good and were Yeah, and they are all so very different. I have to ask you, Cecilia, what are you studying? Because you're a senior in college now. She told me this while we were getting ready, so yeah. spoiler alert. <laughs> but what, what are you majoring in? Criminal justice with a minor in political science. Good for you. Congratulations. So She's so smart. Well, if you want to see the movie, you can see it today at the Alamo Draft House Cinema Park North at 6 o'clock. And for more information on the movie, www.gentexsa.org. Yes. Does that sound right to you? That sounds Great. good to me. But go see it tonight. Yeah, absolutely. Because Gen Texas and, and uh, Wells, Wells Fargo. Fargo. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for coming out here. And congratulations. Thank because, you again, so just you have won tons of award, awards with this documentary. Yeah. Congratulations to you, Cecilia. Thank you so much. Thanks for being here. High five.